There's also something called a stop limit order. With a stop limit order, we're able to set a price range for where we'd like to open our position. So for example, we can tell the system that we want to go long when the Bitcoin future price goes up to $25,000 and we are willing to buy in at any price between $25,000 and $26,000. Using this type of order really makes sense whenever the market is very volatile because then we're basically giving the system a price range where it's allowed to open our position in. If we just use a normal limit order, the system is only allowed to trade at our specific entry price. But with a stop limit order, the system is allowed to take the best price within the price range that we have set. There is also the stop market order. In this case, we're telling the system at what price the market order should be triggered. So as soon as our stop price is reached, our market order will be fulfilled at the currently best available price. 